Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome to this let's play of Railroad Tycoon, the 1990 original. Uh, yeah, I've been browsing around on the uh, internet archives again, and apparently this game does run over there. Um, it does have a few issues, we'll get to those. But still, uh, this game is a classic in terms of uh, railroad stuff or transport games. At a, I don't recall if there are, I can't recall any other transport game from this far back, to be honest. And then again, my memory is always faulty. Um, of course, this spawned several other train games. Uh, we'll probably get to them. This will probably be a very short Let's Play. Because, well, let's face it, this game is old and I don't recall all the details. And yeah, at any rate, um, let's fire it up. And we're going to listen to the intro because that's... For some reason, it always puts me in a good mood. This, ga this game has one of the best intros I've ever listened to, <laughs> to put it like that. Let's, oh, basic options, and here we go. Well, a sharp cut there, but th for some reason that music always puts me in a good mood, even now. Uh, what was it? Twenty-six years later. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, as I said, there are a few issues with the game. Um, there are two problems with the version that is available over on Inter Internet Archives. Actually, three. Uh, one, the copy protection is still ex still is in full effect, so you have to know your trains in order to play it properly. Um, two, you. The uh, shift key does not work in this particular uh, DOS box they've set up, so you have to use the numlock key in order to build track instead. And third, you can't build iron bridges because that crashes the game for some reason. So, with those three caveats, <laughs> you can still play the version they have over on the Internet Archives for free and have fun. Let's see, we're gonna start a new railroad. Uh, yeah, what do we wanna do? 1830, Eastern USA. 1866, Western US, 1828, England, or 1900, Europe. I think we're going to go with the Western US. Because then we get planted in the middle of the train roster rather than at the very beginning. And the Europe one, that's fairly late. So, yeah, we're going to go Western US. Uh, we're going to be... Yeah. We don't have that many aces in our sleeves, so we're going to go with the very basic investor. Easiest difficulty setting. We're going to keep with the easiest possible options here as well. And then it creates the map. Okay, and that should be... Yeah, the railroad company form, that's fine. And copy protection fires up. Let's see here, that's a 260 engine. Which one is this? Uh, my goodness. And if I make a mistake here, we will be forced to restart, because if you fail the copy protection, you're stuck at uh, with just two trains, and that's not going to be enough. Let's see now, it's not a grasshopper or planet, patentee Norris, not an American, not Iron Duke. Uh, it's not a DX Goods or Sterling, not... Ten-wheeler, no, it only has eight, so it's not that. Consolidation, I don't... And it's not one of the bigger engines. Let's see here, it's not a web compound, that's a four-engine one, I think. Ah, my goodness, is it a mogul? 260? It could be the mogul. Uh, <laughs> honestly, not sure. I thought the mogul was a bit more lumpy, but okay, we'll go with the mogul and see if that's... Yeah, that's my guess. Hey, we locked out. Yay. 
So that's the problem with the copy protection. You have to um, get past that. On the good on the good side, the game the game on the internet archives. You can also access the manual, and in the manual you will find pictures of all the train engines, so you can get by using that. Um, Let's see now, where do we want to start our little rail line? Uh, da, da, da. Manufactured goods near New Orleans here. And a stockyard. Uh, we want to find some big towns. Preferably someone we can, some cities we can connect without having to cross the rivers. That would have been ideal. Lake Charles is a darn big city, but they have no industries. Uh, yeah, okay, Monroe here. Also a big city, and they have a refinery and a power plant. Shreveport, but that would require actually crossing a river. Jackson has a factory and a refinery. So I could go from New Orleans up to Jackson. Mobile has a lot of industries, my goodness. Food processing plant, a factory, uh, a harbor. And, but no real, uh, not source of goods. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a bit of time just milling around the map here. I want to find a good city location. Nashville actually has coal within the, their initial area. And there's a lot of coal up here as well. But I need a road to actually cross over to Evansville. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you have here? That's a steel mill, right? Yeah, cool. Um, let's see, up here. Lots of coal up here. That's kind of sad, though, because it's right next to the power plant. Kind of like to have some distance on the rail link as well. Is that a power plant? No, that's a food processing plant. Boo! If that had been a power plant, it would have been a good little line there. La Crosse, Gross, Cross, La Crosse, yeah. Also a food processing plant. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. Hmm. Not sure where we're gonna start. What about here? Very big town. No industries, no nothing. Steel mill, paper mill. Okay, let's zoom out again. What if we tried somewhere away over on the west coast? Portland, you start with a harbor. Harbors are good. At least that will produce some raw material. But you have a river. And that's kind of difficult to navigate here. Um, nothing up there. Okay, San Francisco. No ports in San Francisco, really? No, there it is. Okay, fine. I'm starting to wonder. Uh, Sacramento, probably. No Fresno. Okay. Uh, Los Angeles also has a port. And petroleum. Um, okay, Los Angeles. What's the nearest town? No, that's not exactly a metropolis, is it? So there are the populous cities are all the way over here, but they don't seem to have much in terms of immediate industries, and that's kind of dumb. Des Moines and Waterloo, that would might be a good connection. Let's see now. Um, how do the industry chains work in this game again? A food processing plant requires livestock directly, I think. Let's see, there's a display for that, I think. Let's see if we can get that. Displays, options, resource map, there we go. So if I now look at the higher level there, let's see. Uh, let's see, S, that's... Or something S. Uh, steel. Okay, factories require steel. Um, power plant requires petroleum. 
My food processing plant requires grain. Okay, grain. And uh, I assume the stockyard requires uh, livestock. Yes, okay, fine. So I'll have no goods to transport between these two. Both require petroleum, and yeah, that's not going to work. Ugh. Yeah, it's bas basically this is the resource map. So a if it has a background, that is a uh, dump for that cargo type. It requires that cargo type. And if it's just a plain letter, that's a, that's a source of that cargo type. So, for instance, there are a lot of wood out here, but no. Nothing I can see right away that requires wood. Over here, there's plenty of coal. And that is required down here. Uh, wait a second, let's have a look here. That's there, yeah, okay, fine. So there's plenty of coal up here. Of course, you also require coal right next there. No, 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 right. Oh, yeah, the power plant actually requires petroleum, while the steel mill requires coal. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh, yeah. Faulty memory. Faulty memory at work. Okay, so... so from Garve and down to Indianapolis would certainly be good. We could be able to produce... Yeah, you know, that's actually a good line. The problem is that, that we have to cross a river. But we'll certainly get enough goods. Mm, if I want to build a station, it's going to have to be there. I assume... Yeah, okay, so let's try to build from here. See if we can do this. Such a lively little sound. Um, Indianapolis, can we build without being adjacent to our existing track? I vaguely recall there being some issues on that. Let's see, that we want to be here, right? So, yeah, must connect to existing track. So we can't get away with that. That's sad. And here we have to cross the river. Now, the Iron Girder Bridge, if we build that, we won't, then we'll crash the game. <laughs> Just how it's gonna be. Um, wooden crystal bridges, wooden bridges will be washed away regularly. Stonemason bridge, they'll they'll be sturdy, but as you can see, they cost an absolute fortune. Uh, that's why I wanted to avoid bridges. Uh, okay, we'll go with the wooden trestle bridge. And this is why the iron uh, bridge won't work, I assume, because this particular animation doesn't work. In the version available at the Internet Archives. That's just how it goes. So we'll just have to risk using a wooden bridge. We can replace it later, I think. Now though, how can we ease in on Indianapolis? We want to go here. Yeah, so that's fine. And then south. Perfect. We'll build our first station up in... Gary. Hello, Gary. Uh, da, 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 build station. And we want to build a large station, as you can see on the square here. Depot will take the nearest squares. Station will take the next round, and terminals will take everything. So that's what I want to save my money for. So it'll supply a lot of mail and passengers. Also, it'll supply grain and coal in large quantities. It'll demand all resources, because we're playing with simple economy. Otherwise, it wouldn't demand that much. And we're going to build a station here as well. And we're probably going to build another terminal, yeah. This will also supply tons of mail and passengers, and also petroleum. And now we need to create some rail cars. Let's see now. Uh, we want one passenger train. Uh, let's see, which do we want for that? Well, of the choices we have, 
we pretty much always want the 10, 10 wheelers because yeah it has plenty of power it is the fastest one we have available so it's the best engine overall there's no distinction here as you can see in the pre on the previous two trains there is a distinction the american train will will haul car uh, passengers for example much faster so it's good for a passenger train whereas the mogul has more horsepower so it'll draw say heavy ca cargoes like coal cars much faster than the american would if you have lots and lots of cars but in our case the 10 wheeler is the best one all around so 10 wheeler it is and there it comes out of the uh, engine hole then we have to add cars we're gonna start with the passenger car i assume we're gonna go with uh, at least a few passenger cars I don't know how much uh, cargo will produce here, or how many cars we need. Let's assume we're going to need a lot, so we're going to go with four passenger cars and two main cars. That's probably overkill, but uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that's going to be it, and uh, no thanks. We only have two stations, so I expect he'll pick those two as a train schedule. So there we go, yeah. Unloading, loading, that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's see, train type. This is going to be an express. Route map, yeah, that's fine. Uh, da -da -da. Not gonna do anything on that. Actually, engine info. Can we get more detailed info about this engine? Yeah, there we go. So they, you can also get the rating here of just how powerful the train is. We're now loading it with six cars, so it's pretty darn much slower. Um, of course, the grade also matters. It's difficult to see that on the main map. You have to switch over to a terrain mode to see exactly the grade of the local terrain, because if it's not flat, speed will go down. You could also uh, adjust uh, consistencies and all that fun stuff. No, we're gonna go with this basic train. That's fine. So we have one train. Passengers and mail are started, and I also immediately want to start a new train. This will also be a 10-wheeler. Though, wait a second, um... Let's see, game speed. I want you to freeze, because I want to uh, have reports. Can I get some information again? About that train uh, that I just built. If I click on it. There we go, that's what I wanted. Engine, engine info, I want to see on the mogul. Is it actually better if I pile on the cars? Not really. Well, it can consist four cars of tw at 25. Um, whereas the 10-wheeler would be faster at four cars. But with six cars, they are equally fast. So, yeah. Now, knowing that. Next, I want to get information about the station. Yeah, grain and coal is being uh, produced here. It'll pay for all cargoes. Since we're playing on simple economy, they'll also pay for all cargoes. And they'll produce petroleum and steel. So, we're going to build a train... Oh, there we go. Build a train, a new train. There's still also going to be a 10-wheeler. This process does take a while. <laughs> but I do like seeing the engines just sail out here. Yeah, up here we're going to pile up with coal. Three coal cars and three grain cars. That's what we're going to have. 
And then we're going to try to do a cargo consist switch. If I can recall how, we, how you do that. As I said, that's been a lifetime since I played this game. So let's see, rain car. Another grain. And more grain. Okay, that's gonna be it. I'll get out of my station. Next thing we're gonna save up for, I think it's gonna be to upgrade. Uh, the whole system. Let's see now. You down there you're gonna have petroleum. And eventually steel. I don't think you need I don't think you have iron ore in this game. So again we're gonna switch out so it's so we can so we can be sure that the cargo consist is the same as we want it to be. There we go. Perfect. This is going to be a local one, local mixed train freight. Perfect. Uh, priority, no, no, no. Everything else seems fine. Route map. Yep, that's perfect. And exit. So we still have a fair bit of money. Let's see, double tracking. Can we still do that? Oh, let's see now. If I can remember how, how to do that. Ah, uh, that's the problem. The D key goes up there, does it? Doesn't it? Um. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a problem if we can't double track. Um. Because if I, at least I recall it being the D key. Uh. Build track, yes. Okay, so that might be the problem with the DOS box. Um, it has sh the shift key uh, hot, wired in by default, so you it always have a capital D here. So instead of using shift D for displays, it just uses, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. And I can't get away with it with caps lock either, can I? I could! Hey! Excellent. Okay, fine. That's the problem then. Is it? Is, does that mean that we can now build tracks with shift? No. Okay. So, caps lock. That's the problem. Fine. Now I know, now, now I know that. By disactivating caps lock, you can actually double track. The more you know. Dinner 8. Now it's time for our trains to run. Moderate speed. Yep, yeah, we've picked up coal. I should also get the message for grain. There we go. Thing is though, grain is supposed to be delivered here. To the food processing plant, so we don't actually get any new cargo out of this. But that's fine. And the problem is the same down here, I think, because we're producing steel. And steel is supposed to go into the factory. Can't have everything, I suppose. So now our two trains are carrying cargo, tricking along down here. I probably want to try to just double track everything and then get a solid uh, stone bridge across here. And now we should be notified that we got uh, cargo deliveries here. There we go, third passenger delivery, 17 passengers, 30,000 in... Ooh! Okay, fine, Indian. Indianapolis Zephyr. And probably also for the mail delivery, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, um, let's see, name our railroad, I completely forgot about that. Uh, that's not what we're gonna be called. Not the Gary and Indianapolis. There we go. Cab rails. Um, oh my goodness. A handle as well. Can I just call it... 
I can. <laughs> there we go. And now we delivered coal. I suspect. First coal delivery. Good revenue there. And of course again for the grain. And now it should change the consist. There we go. It does indeed. Steel is picked up. As is petroleum. And we gain a fair bit of money from that. Uh, now one train will be ahead of the other. Uh, so let's see, let's move up here and see if we can double track. Ah, okay, fine, cap stock off again. There we go. Can't double track the station itself. Double tracking is expensive, but it's gonna be good in the long run. Now oh, it's just a bri- oh, yeah, mm, darn it. Uh, and it looks like we got a competitor that started up in Wausau. Whatever that was. Let's see. Can we go and have a look? Wow. Oh my goodness. Now the cap stock again. Wausau. Yeah, there. that's where he started. Uh, okay. It's pretty far north. He's probably going to go and connect down to La Grasse. Or no, actually connect to Milwaukee. So ignore Green Bay. Took Milwaukee instead. That's a bit annoying for us, though. Because now we have to intercept him somehow. We could extend to Chicago. That would require another bridge, though. Uh, Decatur would not require a bridge. It would give us quite a lot of wood. But we'd need a paper mill to take advantage of that wood. There's also some coal mines on the way. Um, is there a paper mill anywhere nearby? Oh my goodness, I can always check the um, overlay here. Oh my, that was quite a lot of money. Wood here. No place that requires wood anywhere nearby. No. Not that I can see at least. Let's zoom in a bit. So we know that a stone bridge will require 400,000, so it's going to take a while to get this going. This train is pretty darn slow now. No no surprise, given the amount of cargo we tossed aboard it. Uh, let's see. Here we can also see cargo consists that are waiting transportation, I assume. Steel has been delivered. And I believe also petroleum. There we go. So now we have some income. Got a fair bit of money from that as well. How much cargo do we have still have? Now we have manufactured goods. Okay. Why do we have manufactured goods? Oh, another train company in Grand Rapids. Uh, let's pause for a second. Things are going on here. Uh, why do we have got... Where do you get manufactured goods? We delivered steel and we delivered yeah, delivered um, petroleum. Does the power plant actually convert that into goods? I don't know because those manufactured goods come, came from somewhere. Uh, Indianapolis, it's just petroleum and passengers and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, where did those manufactured goods come from? They must come from the power plant. I can't figure anything else out. Because I don't think the city itself can convert them into steel. It'll convert steel into anything else other than by using factories. Didn't build on top of a factory, did I? No. Hmm. Don't know. And we also had a company being formed. Let's see if we can find where the heck that one was. Grand Rapids, was it? Yeah, so he built over there. That... Oh my. That's also kind of annoying, because that would have been a good spot for us to connect to. Though he'll have trouble finding another city that... Uh, he'd have to go all the way up to Salt Lake Marie to build. Unless he connects down to our town. Huh. 
Tenerate Decatur seems to be the most logical place for us to connect to, since we can do that without crossing a river. And we could probably do the same with Evansville from here. Yes, we could. That's Nashville, that's where it's at. Evansville, where are you? There you are. Hmm. So I probably want to go up here first to run interference with the guy up here because he has a lot of towns he can spread to too. Getting over to Chicago would have been okay-ish. Um, there's a grain silo up there. But we'd have to place a station here in order to capture that grain silo. And then we'd miss out on this one at the very least. Well, that's a possibility. If we did that, we could freight grain one way. And yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. But we'd have to invest both in a bridge and in a station. And of course the trains. I'll have to, think, have to think about this. But I'm going to take a short break here because we've been playing for a while now. Um, if you enjoy watching this little series, uh, which will probably be very short, or if you'd like to show your support, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel or hitting those like buttons because both those actions would help me out a great deal. And if you wish to tell me how good or bad I'm playing, the comment field is right down below. Beyond that, thank you for watching.